Yeah, we use it. Way, man. Welcome back to New Jack Thriller City. Man, this your boy Jack Thriller, man, a.k.a. Cock Out of Sailor, man, a.k.a. Debo 3000, a.k.a. Whoo, don't touch me. Get off me. Let's go, man. Yo, check this out, man. Um, you know, 85 South, Channel 85, it's going down in a major way. Yo, uh, check this. Yo, T-Rex. What's happening? Man, you know you one of the hottest prehistoric legends in the game, you right? because I got a big head and a little arm. Woo! Let's go! Come on, man. I, hey, yo, T-Rex, I, I got the I-team here today. Roger that. I got the I-team here today. You, you, you heard of the, the Fly Girls, right? Woo! I got the I-girls, bro. <laughs> yo, T-Rex. Yes, sir. I got Boydney. I got Tia. <laughs> I got Red Diamond. <laughs> I got Chrissy, the bartender with her hate name. <laughs> <laughs> And I got an amazing guest today, man. I got an amazing guest today. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to it in a minute, man. But on social media, I got Wiz the DJ. Come on, drop a bum for him. Woo! Hey, we got B Goaty in the house. Let's go. Come on, man. That's who's shooting this shit. Whew. Man, yeah, let me tell you something. I'm excited about this set, man. Yo, drop a bum for the set. Damn, man. God damn. Say it again. I said, drop a bomb for this set, man. It's jackthriller.com. I said, jackthriller.com, man. I just relaunched the site. Hey, and for all those, you know, the, uh, uh, independent artists and everything to say, yo, Jack, don't, he don't talk to us no more. That's some bullshit. That's why I even started jackthriller.com. So if you want your one-on-ones with me, all you got to do is, goddamn, hit that email. Go to finna put it up right there, right now. Hit that email right now to get your one-on-one -on -one with me and everything. And you're gonna, you're gonna meet me over at jackthriller.com. But hey, this is what we're doing today. It's New Jack Thriller City. And I got one of the hottest up and coming. Man, yo, he country as hell. He with that pimping, man. He from Jackson, Mississippi. Oh. This is one of my newest favorite rappers in the world, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I, when I come out on stage on, on the Netflix, I might have to, yeah, when I do that Netflix special, I think I might have to go on here and goddamn get Akeem Ali to bring me out, bro. So without further ado, yo, give it up for one of the heavyweight rappers of the world. Akeem Ali. Let's go. Let's go. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. I said, what's up, boy? There ain't nothing to it but to do it. Man, yo, thank you for coming to the show last minute, man. Appreciate you, you for having me. You could have been anywhere in the world, bro. You know what I mean? Because I know you're on tour right now, doing your thing, man. Always got some famous shit going on. Yeah. Man, you, 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 the, the trap jumping like a motherfucker. I'm right where I'm supposed to be, man. Bro, it, it's yeah. like that as a matter yeah. of fact. You know what I mean? Yeah. That is, that is, man. So, you know, Jackson, Jackson, Mississippi. Yeah. Come on, bro. You know, Jackson, Mississippi been on the map for like the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. Man, Dion came down there, yeah. you know, setting it off. You know, Neon Dion, prime time. When mm -hmm. you first heard the news, what did you say, sir? I was happy. I was excited for it, you know. I'm not really a sports fan, but I was just happy for what it was hey. going to bring to the city. <laughs> I'm the same way. Yeah. Same way. My hand eye coordination ain't really all that. <laughs> I can dig it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel it. Aww. It is what it is. It is what it, it is. All. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that means you didn't play sports either. You always knew you was gonna be an entertainer, bro. I ran track. Really? Yeah, in cross country in high school. Okay, that's yeah, what's yeah, up, yeah. bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Man, yeah, so man. did you wanna go pro or you know it was just a uh, recreation? No, I knew I wanted to rap since like fifth grade. In fifth grade, you was one of them mm. niggas that was at lunch that got down beating on the table and shit, drawing Bart Simpsons and stuff. Yeah, that, yeah, we was beating on the table. But it was in class and shit, though. Did, did, yeah. did, did, did. So, you know, you in the lunchroom doing your thing, you know, mm. everybody pulling out they, they, they uh, dopest freestyle. And, um, you know, I can already tell right now you was above average. Yeah, I used to rap other niggas' songs when I was that little. I when I was like I had third, fourth grade, the same thing. when I was like third or fourth grade, I used to rap other folks' songs. I didn't write my first rap until I was fifth grade. Really? Yeah. Get out of here. Because I didn't know how to, like, 
Okay. Rap, you know what I'm saying? And I just kind of like mimic what I heard. And every time I try to freestyle, I'm like, yeah, this shit don't sound like what they sound like. So. <laughs> yeah, but when I was fifth grade, I wrote my own song. So with that being said, then that means you was like, when you mimicking, that means you studying. You doing what's comfortable. You trying sense, to find your like, voice. Because that's like the basis of all basis of all learning. Like when you're a baby, you start mimicking behaviors. You mimic what people say. You know what I'm saying? That's how you learn a language. Did, did. If I wanted to learn a language, I had to mimic it first and then, you know, get into my own little groove. But you ain't just rapping though. You you also talented at you singing. Would you would you say you was a singer also? I started practicing when I was younger too, like third grade. Um, I just kind of taught myself how to do all of this shit, man. Really? Yeah. You self taught. Yeah. So what what where the sauce come from, man? Where where, where the pimping come from? It gotta be in you and not on you. I heard what you said. I see it. what you did. The Mac is in the building. Yeah, I can't tell you where it came from. It just sprouted out of nowhere. Okay, okay. Do you remember what your first rap name was? Lil A. <laughs> yeah, I drew on a t-shirt and everything. Like, I used to draw when I was in elementary. Niggas thought you were Alvin and the Chipmunks. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I had drew on a shirt with a little pen and everything and put Lil A on there, and I'm like, yeah, fuck with me. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. And, and what grade this is? Fifth grade. Fifth grade, Lil yeah. A. I had wrote my first rap, then I wrote like two or three other songs after that. Do you, hold on. I always ask people that, what was your first rap? Do I you wrote it, I wrote it to Chris Brown's poppin' beat. I wrote it. Cause back then you didn't have like instrumentals. That nigga said so back we then. had like the CDs. Chris Brown had just came out too. It's like 05, Chris Brown with had the, just with came the, Yeah! Out. That was back when he had that, that goddamn. Was like, Oh, excuse me, miss. Maybe, but it might have came. I think the album might have dropped in 05, but I know for a fact. Yo, you know what it was? It was. Uh, he came out with Run It first in 05. Okay. But by the time Poppy came out, man, that shit had me in a chokehold. I'm talking about some. Girl, what your name is? <laughs> yeah, that bitchy. Uh, yeah, that bitchy, girl. Yeah. You knew you wanted her. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, you, you, was, you, rapping, you, you were rapping for the ladies, or you were just rapping for, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, princess? listen, no, I was. Uh, jacked up off that Wayne and Boosie, especially Boosie. Boosie was like... Shout out to Boosie. Shout Boosie out to was Wayne. like my... Uh, <laughs> I probably used to wish Boosie was my fucking stepdaddy or some shit. Like, <laughs> Really? We love Boosie. We love Boosie. Wow. You couldn't tell me nothing. Like, it, man, if it wasn't Wayne, it was Boosie most of the time. Like, hey, man, hey, man, shit. shout out to Bo Bo Boosie. Yeah. Did, you, Boosie used to come through Mississippi goddamn terrorizing, right? Yeah, Boosie was like in Mississippi all the fucking time, like... It was just biggest crazy. market. Like, you would see him like you saw him in like Baton Rouge or some shit, and like he was just down there. He was had a lot of ties down there and stuff. Like Mississippi, I, don't, I can't speak for no other state, but I know Mississippi adopted Boosie. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he was from there. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Hold on, but I skipped over it though, man. What, what was it? Give, give, give me about two bars off your first. Oh, round. I give you the whole thing. Now I was in the fifth grade. Hey, we got a real I nigga remember, there. I a remember. real niggas in the building. Hey Rex, a real niggas in the building. I remember. I remember it verbatim, like I was in the verbatim. fifth grade. I wrote this in the fifth grade. I said, uh, nigga surprised when I open my trunk because I'm killing the game with my pistol grip pump. I hate to creep with a tech on my side and a bulletproof vest when I ride. I got to prove to these niggas that I ain't playing and everything be true that I'm saying. If you come up me wrong, homie, yeah, you better repent. You thinking I'm a bag down shit. You got me bent. I was raised in the ghetto by crooks and killers when niggas be teaching me how to be a drug dealer. See, why am I here trying to get rich before dying? A lot of little niggas out here ain't trying. And all I rock is diggers in your bowls still tipping on foes throwing bowls. Yeah, you niggas out here ain't appreciating my dedication and communication with anticipation. Now you hate me. And that what it was. <laughs> that was literally the first rap I ever fucking wrote. Yeah. And I didn't have and I didn't have a tech nine or I didn't have no dickies or jabos. We pause <laughs> We pause a motherfucker, but when I saw Boosie rock them jabos, boy, you can tell me I wouldn't like, you know. Bro, you, you if you find a 50 in here, I'm pussy. Ooh! <laughs> when he said that. When he said that I had a yeah. stack of five dollars, yeah. you find a quarter in this motherfucker, I'm pussy. I'm <laughs> throwing the five dollars on the ground, picking it back up, and throwing them bitches back down there. Oh shit, man! Yeah. God damn, man! That yeah. shit was violent than a motherfucker. It was, but that was like what I was listening to. That's all they talked about. So I was like, What did What did your mama say when she heard you say that? For the I first stayed time? with my auntie and my mama didn't raise me, but shit, didn't nobody know about it. But like my partner and them, I used to rap that shit to them, so they thought I was like, you know, boy, you know hard as a motherfucker. I'm talking about, yeah, fuck with me. You let me know. <laughs> my shit was super garbage when I was in fifth grade. But you know what's crazy though? Like that's harder than some shit I wrote when I actually decided to start writing and rapping. Like really? Yeah. Now, see now you showing up. But I was like. 
11 years old when I wrote that shit. It was a, it was a good look. Now that I think back on it, like to be 11 and to write something like that, I'm like, damn, I actually knew some words. I was misplacing some of them motherfuckers, but I knew some words. I never had a chance. <laughs> Man, this is what I was doing. This is what I was doing, bro. Tell, tell me what level I was on right here. Let me hear it. Hit the bitch in the jaw. Tell the hoe, don't break the law. Tell the hoe, this shit's real. <laughs> and ask the hoe just how she feel about shit. Who she thinks she fucking with? I told the bitch I ain't the one. Now ask her if she having fun. <laughs> now ask her if she... <laughs> you was, uh... No, no. He was listening to Trick Daddy yeah. and, um, uh, 3-6. I was tricking myself. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you were doing. God shit. damn. You nigga get kicked right up out the side. Nah, but you... I owe you was when you wrote that. I, I was probably like like eight nine. That's good. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna be yeah, honest. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. For an eight year old. Yeah, that's really good. You know what I did last year? I know what y'all did. Yeah. 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 But you know what? You oh, a lot of the, a lot of the people from back then, and this ain't like no shade from a technical standpoint. <laughs> they really couldn't like rap, rap. They just rhyme words together so fucking good, and the beats was so hard. We just went for it. I see right. what you just did there. You did, we you, went for you, it. You shit it on us. You definitely yeah. disrespected us. I ain't gonna... Nah, it's some... <laughs> niggas... <laughs> nah, <laughs> it's, that, some people are hard, but I'm like, some of that shit I've been listening to it now, like... And people do this all up. the time, and this ain't no shade, but like, right, people right, give right. Sip the Shock a hell. Hold on, wait, hold on. Hold niggas on. give Sip the Shock a hell, dog. like... Hey, bro, Sip the Shock a... Should, I think you, once again they do give him. I'm gonna say if you're gonna say something other than what I'm saying, that's why you wrote what you wrote. <laughs> <laughs> what you saying? I what you? No, nah, I'm, I'm saying like you listen to that shit. Them niggas used to be rapping like two verses at the same time, like on a beat. And I'm like, hey, damn. This, this can you pick? My nigga, I'm man. like, can you pick what you want me to hear? Hey Silk, this what he said. This, hey, you you hear you hear this nigga? Man, right? don't. Hey Silk, is all love and respect. Please don't jump on my head. Hey, like, well, you I'm do like, a song with Silk though, right? Yeah, I do a song with just about anybody. Fuck. I mean. Okay, I can do that. Toward the end, he learned to stay on beat. His cadence yeah. was a little erratic. But this ain't nothing that he didn't probably already know or that he ain't heard nobody say. But he said he did it on purpose, though. And, and you know what? If he did it on purpose, kudos. He, I be seeing things He like accomplished that. exactly what he wanted to. It's some people who know, like, you hear niggas like Waka Flocka say, I was not a rapper. Like, I don't know how to fucking rap. And it's just like, he learned how to rap. Like, Waka Flocka knew he couldn't rap, but the beats was so hard and he had so much energy. Mm -hmm. It's just like, shit. Why not? And then they gonna listen to it too. Mm. So yeah, on a little baby documentary, they was like, yeah, he was not a rapper when he first came out, and he grew like exponentially. And you hear it, like you hear niggas getting on beats and just like, I'm gonna try this shit out, and if they gonna fuck with it, I'm gonna keep pushing that button. Hey, bro, see, you know what, y'all, your your class from little baby to you and all y'all had a real good support system. Niggas used to get on us hard. I mean, like. Niggas, niggas had like lowered my self esteem about rapping. Cause the way you talking right now, you making me feel like I could have did that shit if you I would have just kept going. Yeah, you can. I ain't, it, ain't, it ain't. You talking about still to this day? Yeah. You yeah. give it another go? Mm, I mean, shit. That's how you feel. <laughs> that's how you feel. And I tell people now, it's literally, I be wanting to tell people like, this trash or this ain't like gonna do it. But you can't do that now. They literally say anything and get away with murder now. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, and this ain't no shade. She was telling the truth, but my pussy pink, my booty hole brown. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> her pussy might be pink and her booty hole might be brown, but never would I have thought we would be singing some shit like I this. Never, hey, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, I got like, mad. I got mad, crazy bro. Crazy thing is, this is what's so crazy. I'm singing it like my pussy pink. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> she had you singing and shit. It's just like, we don't know what the fuck to like. We just like what we know. Yeah. And as yeah. long as it's going, like, we're going to sing it, bro. Hey, if everybody bro. on, like, we're going to sing it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I call her Stephanie. I call her Heffany. I didn't, I didn't even know a Stephanie at the time. I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever is popular, whatever is going. Heffany. Heffany. I start calling bitches named Brittany Heffany. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> just because you call of Brittany. Popular, I call her like heaven a Right. <laughs> wow. I'm wow. Sorry. They tricked us, bro. They tricked us, man. Yeah. Yo, so it ain't nothing I gave that up. Make that, that won't go, man. Like, you can just... Mm. I'm flinging ding-a-ling and bling-bling, and they gonna be like... <laughs> <laughs> that nigga is a ding a ling flinger. Flinging. You heard that nigga say he said flinging, bro. They gonna get down on it, I'm telling you. Come on, now. How you gonna do it if you really don't want to dance? Shit, am I standing on the wall? <laughs> Hey man, um, you know, 
Mm. I, ladies, y'all been listening to no, I can't believe. Y'all, I, I don't know if this y'all first time. Um, yo, Chris, is this, is this, this your first is time? This my first time today. <clears throat> mm. First time, Tia? I love that. Yes. First I time, Donna? I love that for y'all. Mm-hmm. Okay, but Bortney, it's your first time. Mm-hmm. Y'all always virgins. Y'all always Akeem Ali virgins. virgins. I pop some cherries in here today. With that being said, I'm you know, virgin. from 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 this way coming all the way back down, how did you feel when you was, you know what I'm saying, getting here, listening to this listening party that we just had? I mean, I love it. I love it. I, lo- I like the vibe. I really do. Tell and me you, a joke. Don't tell me no, a lie. No, no, but listen, dead ass. Right. And you know, I'm a skater. I love roller skating. I can mm-hmm. skate to his shit. Okay. Wow. Okay. I can skate to his music. Okay. Like his shit, his shit vibing. I appreciate that. I love it. I love it. It's very different. Appreciate that. It's not oh. saying booty hole brown and all that <laughs> shit. I, I I like. Have you sung that song though? Have you said that? Um, at work, I hear it a lot, right, so see. I have no choice. <laughs> Look, she don't even like so, it. The thing is, it's just I'm like, definitely once bending it's over down, the bar. I ain't gonna point no elbows, but somebody be asking me for that shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, Damn, Tia. Yes, that's your song. Yeah, I my, like it. My booty hole. Yeah, pink. Mm-hmm. Brown Bo- booty hole. Brown. My booty, booty hole. Brown. The booty hole is brown. Yes, pussy pink. Pussy pink. And the pussy. No, that's what they they say. But when you get it bleached, it won't be brown no exactly. more. Exactly. Get it bleached. Yeah. No. So that's oh, you can. Yeah. I want to get mine's bleached. Why, 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 would you get, why would you put Clorox bleach on your pussy? No, they don't put actual Clorox bleach. What, what they put on it in? It's, I don't Some know what it is. It's like a lightning cream. cream. Yeah. They put ammonia. But it's also like oh, they do. And, bacon, and bacon yeah. powder. Don't bacon listen soap. to him. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't listen no, to him. No, no, they no. put Arm and Ham on it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, well, don't listen to him. And, and so what's the point of this again? Putting, putting bleach on you? Put light in your... It's it started in the porn industry, you know honestly. Yeah, why you, why you need to bleach it if you ain't never back there? Unless a, somebody a, gonna be back there. The obsession of being perfect. <laughs> yeah. Nobody back there. No, you gotta let that be their problem. Just like, <laughs> yeah. Hey, that yeah. shit is sexy when it's all the same color, though, for real. When it's all the same color? Yeah, this sparking you know, a new conversation girls, now. This. Some girls, <laughs> did they, like, a light-skinned chick with a dark Oh, skin. yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, that, that, that's something you know, that... No, that ain't nothing that they had control over. But that we control. don't, because that's the light right. is not, you, you know, You born with that motherfucker jet black. Yeah. It's just... It is. <laughs> Chrissy, you telling on yourself. Not I'm not. No, no, no. I'm not telling on myself. <laughs> if it's jet black, let it be that. Oh. Your God gave you, like, a... Yeah, let it stay dark. A matte black I mean, no, I'm not ashamed of it, though. Matt oh, black. I'm not ashamed. Trust me, it's always exposed. <laughs> but, you know. It's matte black when you don't put lotion on it. Ah! <laughs> when you grease it up, it's black. jet black. I'm going to start calling you black and mild. Yeah. Oh, God, damn. No. It ain't okay. black and spicy. <laughs> It ain't mild, it's spicy. Yo, your tea, your tea is... I can't stand you Why is it spicy? <laughs> <laughs> yo, we, we done got off track a little bit. We off track. Okay. Yeah, tea, tea, how did you yeah. feel about I came music? I liked it. It kind of gave me, like, Andre 3000 vibes. Mm-hmm. I thought I wasn't tripping. It was, mm-hmm. it was, it was cool. It's, it's groovy. And slash California. Vibe, oh, okay. So it was groovy. Okay. Very know? groovy. Okay, groovy. I like that. I can listen to it. Yeah, that, that sounds yeah. like something you would say, I can. Groovy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I say it all the time. You yeah. pretty groovy, bro. Yeah. Wavy. Oh, okay. <laughs> wavy. I caught a wave. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bortney, okay. what did you think? Yes. Um, I thought that it was, I liked it. I really did. And I liked the influence. I liked the samples he did. Like, I could see where you get in your flow from, I for sure. It. Thank Southern you. influence. I see that. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, hold on, Bordy, where you from? I'm from Atlanta. Oh, from, yeah. I'm hold from on. College Tell Park. You ain't no implant? Huh? You no. got an implant? No, born and raised here. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Grady Hospital. Hospital. Not Grady Hospital. <laughs> I was born on Cleveland Ave at South Fulton Hospital, now mm-hmm. Atlanta Medical. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 same thing. Mm-hmm. Same thing. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that one coming. Yeah. Okay, uh, all right. Yo, yo, Red Diamond, man, how did you feel about the music? Um, I like the music. I feel like he got a little something for everything. Like, you can fuck to it, you can skate to it, you can dance to it. Like, oh, let me straighten myself up and turn around. Okay. <laughs> 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 nigga, I wasn't ready either, my nigga. nigga. Oh, 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 shit. I'm hold your mic. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Finish what you were saying. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. 
<laughs> Damn. <laughs> that was sexy. She ain't lying on me, shit. <laughs> Definitely. I could dig it. I could dig it, man. So, like, yeah, with that being said, because what's the origin, though, man? Who you uh, was listening to coming up? You know, outside of, because you... You know, I know you said Boosie, but, yeah. bro, you don't sound like Boosie. Nah. Not at all. First of all, I would like to give an honor to God and thank him for making me so handsome. <laughs> ah! I wasn't ready. <laughs> Sexy chocolate nigga with the dimples on him. <laughs> uh, no, nah, I listen to everything, man. I was just like, it was like a melting pot of a lot of shit. And even to this day, I listen to a lot of stuff. Um, I don't sound like any of the rappers that I listen to coming up. No, you don't. Other than Wayne. Mm. When I was young, young, like Boosie, Wayne, Twister. I used to listen to Twister like a fucking maniac. For really? Something. Yes. Because it was this nigga that stayed in the hood. He, his name was Pooh Bell. And Always that nigga did. used to know that Bone Thugs and Harmony and Twister shit to a fucking T. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, bro, this nigga, he be rapping that shit. Mm. And I was like, I just wanted to learn how to do it because he knew that shit so well and knew how to rap fast. And I'm like, rapping is cool. But I'm like, how do you do it like that? Mm. Mm. But yeah, uh, John Legend, Usher, The Game, shit, Chris Damn, Brown. Bro, I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, but like just Michael Jackson. Shit. Yes, sir. I mean, I got in trouble. Now, Come on, man. Hey. I, uh, I got caught stealing a Michael Jackson CD one time from Walmart. I'm, no, you was, didn't. Nah, for sure. If you're going to get caught, you might as well get caught stealing Michael Jackson. Hell yeah. Yes. Niggas, yes. like, niggas got to understand I, I, that. I was in the seventh grade, and like I had started transitioning into like um, wanting to dance and shit. Um, I wanted to dance when I first saw you got served. It's like as a kid, you do a lot of shit, and you don't know what you I was a grown man when that do. shit came out, and I wanted to dance. Yeah, no, nah, but yo, like, I was in the third grade. Like, I used to draw. I used to, like, um, try to sing. I was trying to rap. Like, I was trying to, like, fucking dance and shit. When I saw you got served, like, I started dancing, and I didn't stop that shit until I got old enough to stop it. And I don't know <laughs> yeah. at what age, but I just got old enough to be like, fuck this. I'm going to stick to rapping. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah, I got caught stealing the Michael Jackson CD. It was one of them Walmart. What they be calling them, them undercover motherfuckers in Walmart? Yeah, like the undercover shop, secret shop or whatever? <laughs> Man, I, I had some Mamba and a Thriller CD. Man, that nigga caught me walking out the door. Come on, if you're going to get caught stealing the CD, I it better know, be a Thriller CD. I wasn't hip that they had the fucking uh, beepers on the side, inside of the CD. Oh, it's on the inside? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. That's so, one of the best stories I've ever heard in my life, man. Yeah, nigga stopped me. He was like, hey, come here, boy. Come here. And so I kept walking and left out the store. He was a, like a dark-skinned, bald-headed motherfucker, like... And he embarrassed jail. you? Yeah. And he, he took you to jail? Could have been your cousin on some shit. Like. Ah! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> but, uh, nah, he didn't take me to jail, but he was like an undercover cop for real. He was in a, uh, like a light blue Ford Explorer, and I walked out the store and was like, fuck it, he ain't gonna catch you. It was me and my homeboy and them. And he got in the car, and I noticed he was trying to, like, get in the car to hurry up and catch me. I started running, he, and pulled up on side me. I was like, fuck. But before he pulled up, I had stashed the CD, and, uh, no, the candy, and a bag in the garbage can. Stashed it in the garbage can, but I had the CD in my back pocket. So he was like, where the hell was you going? What you, what you stole? And I was like, nothing. So while he talking to me, I just slid the seat out of my back pocket and dropped it. I could start talking like loud so he couldn't hear me drop it. And I was like, I ain't steal nothing. And bling, 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 and kicked it under the truck. And um, he was like, what you get? What you steal? He was like, you better tell him I'm going to take you to jail. I'm like, ah, damn, I can't go to jail. <laughs> Not to jail. So I go to the garbage can and undo the bag. And I was like, oh, let's throw some candy. And I was like, fuck, I can eat the candy and it'd be gone. But if I say this CD, I can listen to this bitch from now to I don't know how long. And at the time, it was like, I will say, that was a good risk and a good investment because that CD taught me a lot. So hold on, you got away with it. Like, I got away with the CD. I, and I'm glad I kicked it far enough because he rolled over it and didn't run over it. And I waited till he like drove off and he was like, I ain't going to take your ass to jail. And I was like, oh, thank God. Man, thank God, man. Give and me I me. got the CD, yeah, so literally picked the CD up and took that motherfucker home. And yeah, I listen to that CD, and that's like literally my number one favorite album to this day. Hey, yes. you ain't gonna believe this, but What's me that? too. Me yeah, too. Thriller is like, me three. Come Thriller on, is like, Yes. Probably the best album. I literally don't have to skip a song on Thriller. No, yeah. you can't. See, you can't. The girl is mine, but I mean, I bet the girl is mine is bro. Yeah. That, 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 I, 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 it should have been the bitch is mine. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm fucking with you. you nah, but this? nah, that's that's a fucking. Man, you don't have to skip nothing on that album. Like, mm. I study that shit 
like day in and day out. When I'm writing music, when I'm listening mm. to study, like I listen to the instrumentation, like I done literally went to the studio and said, listen, what I'm making today needs to sound like this. Like for music <clears throat> in general, that shit is almost like the fucking pinnacle. Mm -hmm. You literally, <laughs> it's not a person on this earth that don't know who Michael Jackson, like your grandmama know Michael Jackson. You know Michael Jackson. Your kids know who Michael Jackson are. Mm -hmm. Your kids' kids will know who Michael Jackson is because you are going to instill it. Like, my partner got uh, two and three-year-old, five-year-old kids. They know who Michael Jackson is. That's right. Like, mm -hmm. Everybody knows who Michael Jackson is, and he mm -hmm. gone. Yeah. Nine years? Wait, wait, 13 years now? No, 14. Shit, yeah. when he died? 2008? Nine. Nine. Yeah. Yeah, I was in ninth grade. Yep. Yep. Crazy. Yeah, but no, like... Like, I, back in the day when we used to take, like, I used to have... 412s or 215s in the trunk for real. <laughs> and you beat two songs. You beat two songs. You're gonna beat How Deep Is Your Love by Key Sweat. Do it again. And you're gonna beat uh, Michael Jackson, Liberian Girl. Sonic, that shit beat so hard. Mm -hmm. Bruh. So hard. Bruh, off the bad album. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, yes. That right there, sonically, you can win. Dudes used to win beat battles with Liberian Girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Michael Jackson didn't miss, man. Yeah, he didn't miss. And his vocal range was just fucking yes. insane. Yeah, insane. <laughs> that shit was just crazy. I studied that nigga like a, I ain't gonna lie. It, it, and you know what? I was taught, like, it was this rapper where I'm from uh, named The Joker, called The Joker. Uh, <coughs> I don't know if y'all never heard of him, but he called as a motherfucker. I'm talking about that nigga called him Polar Bear Pussy. And I was at the barbershop <laughs> one day. I was at the barbershop one day, and he walked in, because I used to listen to him. If y'all had like a favorite local rapper, like, it's something to you, you know before I mean? somebody... Yeah, before somebody yeah. blow, it's something to you. And I was in, what, ninth, tenth grade, ninth grade. And he walked in, I'm like, oh, man, Joker, man, I listen to your stuff all the time. And, like, you so hard. And my barber put me to the side. He was like, what the fuck wrong with you? And I was like, what you mean? He was like, you don't never get that sighted to see no other nigga. And I was like, at the time, like, he tripping, like, this nigga be rapping. Like, he didn't know who the nigga was, but I was just like, man, this nigga hard. And since then... I have never been that excited to see nobody else ever in my life. And I don't know why. I thought he was tripping that day, but I've never been that excited. If I met Michael Jackson, bro, I would feel like a 12-year-old girl. <laughs> like, that Same shit would bro. be like... You ain't wrong for that. And it ain't like, no, being on his nuts. It's just like the niggas No, be on that nigga nuts, bro. The nigga is a legend, bro. Yeah, why not? And it's only like <laughs> two or three more people that I would just be like, I got it like... Who else nuts you would be on? What'd you say? Mine. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> You fucking with the right one. Nah, I wouldn't be on nobody nuts. I would only, uh, I don't know, I would fan out over Michael Jackson only because, like, the influence that nigga has had on me. Show sure nuts. Anybody else, it would be like, I'm gonna give you your flowers, but it ain't like I'm on your nuts because uh, you my competition. Uh, hold on. Now, to say that, to say that, no, no, you, you say you fuck with Boosie. Now, did mm -hmm. you, I'm pretty sure you met Boosie. Yeah, I done seen Boosie. Me and Boosie ain't never, like, just, like, formally met. We done always just seen each other and passed by each other. But they ain't never been like, no. No, I did. Ask, I walked up to him one time, told him I was from Mississippi. But it didn't mean shit to him. I mean, <laughs> it's just <laughs> like, <laughs> niggas be like, yo, bro, I'm from, uh, <laughs> oh. shit, uh, East West Cackalack. I'm like, okay, what did that do for me? But it was like on some introducing myself type shit. But, sure you know, he didn't seen, like, my videos and shit like that before, but like, and I done been around him and other people in the same vicinity, but it's just like, yeah, I grew up listening to him, but it's like, if I tell him I'm a king and I'm from such such, what does that do for him? Mm. I mean, so I mean, people appreciate that, you know what I'm saying? Like, because he probably can relate, he's been there before, and especially with a talent like yours, bro. We get it so much that it don't, it start like, it depreciates. Like. So, so let me ask you this. When people come up to you and say that, you saying they don't mean nothing to you? I'm humble, because I'm still growing. Like Boosie, Boosie is a legend. Boosie, like, you a legend. I'm humble. You, 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 hey, now, you a young he legend. He shot yeah. that Publix by himself. Who that? Boosie. Boosie. He is. He Very is. Humble. Because he from like, I will say he is one nigga who gets it. Like he knows, and he ain't trying to like put on too much. Like he know he got money, but he like, I'm still like regular. Mm -hmm. And that's how I be looking at myself. Yeah. Like. I'm regular. I drive a regular car. I live a regular life. I'm just, Me I tell too. people, Me I'm too. a regular nigga with rapper talents. Yeah, yeah. And I am like, mm. cold as mm. a motherfucker. You feel me? But, yeah. 100%, man. So you, you say you ain't never bumped into nobody that kind that like made you like, oh, shit. Hell no. Really? No. 
Nah. I, see, see, now you making me feel like you ain't bumped into nobody. I have. It just be like shit. Who the biggest motherfucker you done bumped into? Snoop. Other than, I'm going to tell you something, and I say this all the Snoop. time. Other okay. than Michael Jackson, and I'm going to put Snoop second, and then I can say like Beyonce or Drake. Other than Michael Jackson, Snoop is easily the most famous or recognizable person ever. That's right. One of them. Hey, you know what? You know what I just thought about well, now that you just said that? I think the reason why you feel the way you do, mm-hmm. and Goldie, back me up on this. Rex, back me up on this, because we come from the same era. It ain't, niggas ain't really stars no more. It, niggas not stars no more. We this um, every, we in a we in a um we in a in a phase right now in the game where everybody famous. Even your mama could be famous tomorrow. I feel like that's, that's true. I feel like there's some truth to that. But at the same time, it's like um we failed to realize, and I didn't know until I got in it how regular we actually are, and we just fiend to be regular. Uh, somebody was telling me uh, Teezy. Uh, my partner from back home, T.J. Okay. Thomas, he was telling me, like, he was with Drake them one day, and he was like, I'm going to go down the street and get some ice cream. And they was mad at him because I'm like, damn, you so fucking lucky. You get to go down the street and get ice cream. If I wanted to go get ice cream, I would have to get security, get four, five, six niggas to walk with me, because mm. I'm scared that motherfuckers going to pop out on me. Like, and you paranoid all the time. Like, I done been in the store, and somebody was looking at me. Have you ever seen somebody that looks unapproachable? Yes. And a motherfucker oh, that been yes. looking at me? Oh, yeah. When you look at somebody and make eye contact, what's the first thing you do? Your mind gonna be like, look again, to see if they looking. And I look and they looking again, and I'm like, yeah, he won't fight. <laughs> he won't fight, like, you know what I'm saying? And I done been walking around the grocery store with one fist, like, you know what I'm saying? This, oh, that's true. I'm gonna make this one motherfucker count. Like, when I swing, if I don't kill him, I'm gonna hurt myself doing it. You feel me? <laughs> like, but not, and then he walk up, you a King Ali? And I'm like, nigga, you should have just said that. Yeah. I'm like, damn, why you didn't leave with that? <laughs> and he's like, I thought it was you. I'm like, shit, I thought I was gonna have to beat your ass up here. Yeah! <laughs> it's like we be wanting to be normal and yeah. we don't realize the pedestal that people put us on because from their point of view, it's just like, bro, you got a substantial amount of followers. You got like bitches who want you. Like, it's, they put us, they make up all of this shit in their head about us. Bro, I'm mm. just a regular nigga. I wanna go to the store and shop like you wanna shop. Mm. I wanna be seen out in regular, like, don't give a fuck clothes, joggers and a t-shirt, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But it's just not that. And you it's don't like, feel the pressure to like have to impress nobody out the door every day. I do. Yeah. You do? Yeah. I would have came up here in joggers and a t-shirt with mm-hmm. some shoes on. And then it would have been I'm somebody like, in the comment section talking about, that's a king my little I Why thought he was a pimp. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, like, I gotta be pretty every day I wake Can't up. Be regular. To no fault of my own. Like, I don't have no control over being this fucking handsome. But other than that, I gotta dress the part. <laughs> like, <laughs> I gotta look the part. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all hear me rapping all this shit and talking like this and that. It's like, okay. yeah, I'm handsome, but like, what else? Like, I come in here dressed like I'm dressing. You like, <laughs> you believe it for me. If I talk about being a pimp, he like, oh, you like, oh, he do look like he just be doing some, some wicked shit on the low. You feel me? Okay, like? okay. Oh, so, yeah. Hey, oh, okay. So, look, look, then talk to me about this pimping thing. Now, mm-hmm. where, where does pimping come from? Um, I'm not a pimp. And this is what crazy. Saying? For sure. I'm not a pimp. <laughs> I do have my ways about me. Like, I'm a cold nigga. I ain't gonna lie about it. Um, Do you study pimps? Not at all. No, you, you, what, you, are you a fan of pimp movies? Not at all. Not at all? I've never been. Really? Mm-hmm. Never been. You know what's crazy? But you identify as a pimp. You know what's crazy? Okay. What do you think the first pimp ever did? He didn't have... Okay, let's just, let's just go all the way back to like 1950s, 1960s. Right now. The movie The Mac wasn't out. No, like, it. Superfly it's, wasn't out. No, like, it wasn't. That's true. What no. am I going to do? I'm just going to tell these motherfuckers what I would say if I was a pimp. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I never took like, oh, that movie's so fly, this, that. I literally, something sparked in my fucking brain one day, and I was just like, I'm going to tell you what it was. This, this nigga named Legendary Baller, LB, and I had to give him his credit all the time. What? Lima Beans. I got to give nigga. him credit. Beans. I got to give him his He's credit. He's coming here. Lima Bean is coming. I got to give him his hey, credit. We, we got to prove. Yeah, I got to give him his credit all the time. I saw his video on Instagram one day, and I'm like, this old nigga is spitting. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, I'm a, um, I was like, uh, I'm going to rap like that, and I'm going to just like make my own little rendition. And I literally did it and did not mean for this shit to get where it's at. Yeah. I was just like, he's spitting, and I'm like, it inspired me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had to give him his flowers. He inspired me because people be sending me his stuff saying, like, he stole, he stole your style. He doing what you do. No, I was inspired by this nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have a problem saying it. I ain't steal none of his bars or I didn't rap like he rapping. Like, we got two totally different styles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like, that nigga inspired me. And I done heard, like, pimp rapping. Him and Crit. 
crit. And crit. Stupid. Before crit. him, crit laid that shit on thick. And I, I was doing it in my regular music, like my okay. Akeem Ali shit. I didn't come up with Kimi Casanova until I heard this shit. And I was like, this nigga spin so hard. I got in the car, I got inspired. And I was like, I'm going to write something. And I wrote that shit. And like, man. At first, I was like, how did he do that? But yeah. I was like thinking to myself, like, why the fuck you worrying about how he do it? What would you say if you was a pimp? Like, this is your world. Like, just say the, what the fuck you want to say. Like, right. you pretty, say you pretty. Like, you handsome. Like, and I took what I do in my regular life sometimes, and I was just like, <laughs> I mean, I got player ways. I ain't no player. I just got player ways. You know, like, you just a smooth nigga. Mm -hmm. Like, and it's not that I'm trying to be player. It's just like, you just a P, huh? Genesis I was just blessed with it. Like, it is what it is. Ladies, are y'all so, convinced? Are y'all convinced? Yeah, oh, I just, yeah. I just, Very I just nice. talk what I have done before, or like what I would do. Right. I'm like, if I was a pimp, I would say this, like, bitch, don't bother me. I'm filing my fingernails, or like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Whoa. throw your pussy at me, cause I'm pretty, like, Whoa. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't. I, was, I just said what I would want to say, and what then when that? I did that song, literally, I had no intention on doing none of that shit, bro. Like, I did that song, mm. Kimi Casanova. And motherfuckers <laughs> like this song. I put it out as a content piece. And motherfuckers like, where's this song? Where's this song? No lie, since 2020, that song has literally been paying my bills. Wow. Like, I was wow. like, that is fucking crazy. Oh, you been out that That's long? What I yeah. Oh, wow. That song has literally, I was like, was I was quote unquote a struggling artist until then. Like, you know what I'm saying? Going to the studio, spending money to make money. That song has literally been paying my bills since 2020. Mm -hmm. And um, when I found out that people wanted to hear that song, I, um, I put it out. And I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna write a project surrounding this. And I wrote the project in like a week uh, for Mac in the Day. And man, when I tell you, like, that shit has tremendously changed my life. And that's how I was able to meet Snoop. Like, and I'm like, all these people fucking with me just off the strength of like one song. These niggas don't know what else I got to offer. They don't know who I am as a person. Mm. It's like niggas was in my DMs hitting me like tip. And I'm like, I be rapping these niggas songs word for fucking word. And it's like, I made, I done made all of this shit, by the way, and like wrote like some crazy shit. And I make one song about like, in your kitchen making grits and putting dick in your wife. And niggas was like, he hard. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, fuck it. In your kitchen making grits and putting dick in your wife. <laughs> but yeah, and it was like, man, never watched. Niggas asked me to this. I still have not watched the Mac. I still have not watched Superfly. Yeah, but well, let me be the first to say you don't need to. Yeah, you don't need to. That's why I say, you don't. That's why I say, that's that's why why I say fuck you up. when you watch it, it's, fuck you up. When, I, when you watch it, it's like, it's on you. Mm -hmm. This shit just came from within. Gotcha. Mm. Like, I just put it out. You know what I'm saying? I heard that nigga rapping that shit and, like, listening to Crit and, like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, Crit, yeah, is, one of, Crit is, like, top 10 for me. One of my biggest influences. So I had to give him his flowers every time I get the chance to. But, you know, I you, just You got a chance to tell him that? Yeah. Yeah. Did you, did you, have you met Lima Bean and told him that? You know, it's crazy. So the song I got called Play the Player, he was on the original version. Yeah. And um, I needed the verses redone because some shit had happened uh, with some samples, and I needed him to redo the verse. And he wasn't able to do it in time to make the actual project. But like we talked and chopped it up and everything, and like, yeah, he a call nigga. He a call yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Me, so, uh, me, him, and uh, Four Eyes. You familiar with Four Eyes? I never heard that name before. Yeah, he was on a uh, Ludacris first two albums and whatnot doing a freestyle. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 We got a, we got a rap group and whatnot called Reckless Eyeballing. <laughs> when he come up here again, when he come up again, I want to bring, I want to bring you on on the show back yeah. on the show with uh Lima Vane. I remember his shit too, like the the freestyle that, like yeah, sixteen or better. It, it kind of popped him off, um, in a sense. And then like when that sh like I didn't even know he was like popular from the shit. I seen it one day. I'm like, this nigga just going fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And my thing is, I'm like, create whatever you gonna create. Like at that point, I was so desperate to like. Make shit happen for myself because I had spent so much fucking money on the road. Of course. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, yeah, I just do this shit just to have content just so people can see. That's right. And I was just like, I heard that shit. And man, and I'm just an old player from off the block. I get a black girl's dick and a hey, white girl girl's cock. <laughs> uh, I brought my Chinese girl a brand new walk. I like Maria because she make my tamales real hot. <laughs> on the microphone, I'm the best yeah hoi because I'm so supportive with the voids and voids. That's how you said it. Yeah. Yes. Am I lying on him? <laughs> no, you just That yeah, nigga had it. And I was like, this old nigga is spinning some shit. I was like fascinated. And little did I know, like when I wrote my own, people would be so fucking fascinated with it. And this shit then took me into like a whole different like lane and put me in a whole different world. And it's like now, I can do that shit so fluently. Like when I walked in, he was like, he's bad, it's my shit. 
Like, and it started from writing that Kimmy Casanova song. And I was like, how the fuck do I keep rapping about being a pimp if I'm not a pimp? And I'm telling you, like, I'm like three, four projects in, and I'm like, I don't know how I'm doing it. That's why I know, like, it gotta be in you. It can't be shit you just like. That's within, yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I just found out that wasn't in me. Just talking to you now. It can be in you. You just don't know it. Like, everybody that had, like, moments where they didn't, like, did shit with females. Even, like, she said, you gotta believe. Oh, uh, Jay Z went live, like, ladies and pimps, too. Like, you know oh, hell yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, there's some pimps in here. T is a pimp. Courtney's a pimp. Red Diamond is a goddamn pimp. I done wrote about shit that if you was a girl, I done wrote this for a girl, like, um, you invite a nigga over and you let the nigga suck on your titties and then tell him you can't fuck because you're cyclone. Like, bitch, why you let me suck these titties and get my dick hard as a brick? <laughs> Time what to is go. that about? Time I'm to like, go. My dick, my dick hard as an 09 Lil Wayne verse. You mean to tell me? Ah! Like, what are you doing? <laughs> but that's being a pimp. Like, I done tricked this nigga out of this, this, that, and that. Yeah. Like, such and such. And it's like shit that you just, your experiences. It exactly. It necessarily doesn't have to be <laughs> about to money. To I rap from it's experience. N- exactly. And uh, shit that I would do if I was a pimp. I'm like, shit. Might as well mm-hmm. be. Mm, mm, mm. Might as well be. Honest, though, you, can't, you can't talk that shit if it ain't somewhere in your DNA, though. I, I feel understand. like that, though, because if, right. if, yeah. if niggas could do it, everybody would do it. But right. it's like, I'm not a pimp in the sense of, like, having motherfuckers go out and make money for me. But, man... Listen, it's it's more than it's more than that. Than the hey, it's more no, than that. I, I feel bad. More than I feel better because I did that. I did it like that. But then I was like, you know what? You you the one with fucking for this. Let me give you your money back. You deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd have had a lot of females though, if you'd have had a lot of females, you'd have had to maneuver some shit and like finagle a few things like so. Mm. Yeah, one hundred percent. Had my hoes in the world got people and talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> that was dope. I appreciate that. That was dope. I appreciate Matt, it. Matt, ladies, do y'all have any questions for my man? Okay, my lead. Let, oh, let, go uh, ahead. Start, start there. From the back. Start, start from there. The back. I start there. Start there. That's what she right. said. Woo! <laughs> 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 uh, introduce yourself, man. young lady. Hi, I'm Red Diamond. Hello, Red Diamond. <laughs> um, let me see what I want to ask you. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite part of a woman's body to kiss? The kiss. <laughs> her coochie. Okay, okay, okay. Her coochie. Okay. I like, I like kissing though. But I mean, like, you know, once you, once you in a groove and you intimate, like, just pull your pants down, baby. Let's do this. Say it again. Pull your pants down, baby. Let's do this. Okay. Wow. You just go skipping right all the full plate to top. Like when we in there, like when we already like then got past like getting to know each other, like. What we um like? What are we doing all this small talk for? Like we ain't getting no younger. <laughs> we might as well do this. Yeah, I'm coming in the house. Like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, yo, yo, Red Diamond, you satisfied with that answer? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, but that's only after you didn't got to know somebody and like you know. How long do it take to get to know somebody? It depends on how late. much they want you to know and how fast <laughs> shit, huh? Shit. You know, but I no, you just don't go out here and like. If I'm fucking with you or when you've been like kicking it for a while, like that's when it's appropriate. But don't, please don't go around putting your mouth on everybody's cat. Like, yes. You know, you don't want your shit looking like a star crunch around here. That's yes. right. Yes. Be cool, man. Be cool. Yes. Oh, man, I like, love y'all, star like, crunch. Y'all like intimate, too. like emotionally and mentally, and like y'all intertwined and like tune in with each other. Like, mm-hmm. it's okay to do that. But when y'all start off, just, you know, I don't even like, I don't even want to try to kiss no motherfucker starting off. Really? Not at all. I love mm. to k- kiss it. No, I let, <laughs> you know what's crazy? <laughs> what is saying? Like, I literally like make no kiss. moves. I don't make no moves. Like, motherfuckers have told me I thought you didn't like me. Like, I thought someone oh, wrong you. I thought old. you was gay because I just be like, I chill and I'm like, I'm not pressed on fucking you. Like, once I, cause you once I hit, that that, once shit. I hit, once I hit, you literally have given me everything that I was going to work for. That's why mm. I got to get to know you. Like, mm. if it's going to be something, like, let's just chill, let's just vibe. I got to have females over and, like, we be laying in the bed naked, and I'm just laying there like, shit. Chill. I mean, I'm chilling. Mm-hmm. Like, because once we fuck, like, my mind goes somewhere else. It's just like, once He's you, speaking that, for himself. Once you I'm, get that post no clarity. Yeah. It been, no, it been times where I done been like, what's up, what we doing? But when I know I want something with you, or like, when I like you, mm-hmm. so I'm rude. just going to chill. He's so rude. That's and then that's when they, niggas don't know, and y'all tell me if I'm lying. 
when you are not pressed to get the pussy, <laughs> when you are not pressed to get the pussy, they want to give it to you more. Yes. Yeah. That's Thank true. You. That is that's literally true. a cheat code. That's Bro, do day. not talk about pussy. Do yeah. not mention pussy. That's Don't say nothing about pussy. You will get more pussy not entertaining that it. That is true. It's not a secret. It's literally just like facts. Like, I it's invite a motherfucker true. over. That's true. You want something to drink? I don't. I just say, niggas, you got to take a shot to come in. Or, ah, you want something to drink? I got Sprite, Coke, water, wine if you want some. If you drink liquor, that's cool. Like, right. what you need? All right, we lay in the bed. I'm just like, shit, I don't know if you uncomfortable or whatnot, but here go a T-shirt and some boxes. Or if you got your own clothes. <laughs> Make her comfortable. Hey, Make would her you like to put some more clothes and on? And it's not a facade. Would it's you like to put more clothes on, ma'am? Yeah, it's not a facade. It's like, baby, I really don't want to fuck you. Because if I do, I'm going to be here. You're going to be sick of me. You're going to be tired. You're going to be cussing me out. Because now I don't want nothing to do with you. Right. Like, once I done popped, I'm like, shit, let me go find something else. Yeah. It's true. It's That's just true, simple. though. That's the it's, max. If it wasn't true, they wouldn't tell you. Yeah. That's true. Uh, so, that's true. That's, that's, that's 100. That's yeah, true. every nigga who is pressed over pussy or who is no, a creep. That's dead ass. Yeah, I take a motherfucker out and I let her know, like, baby, don't get too drunk. Don't drink too much around me. I don't want you making no decisions you're going to regret tomorrow. I'm telling you, if we fuck tonight, you might as well just go ahead and hang it up. I ain't got nothing for you. Unless you Beyonce or somebody I've been wanting, but, <laughs> Damn. you know. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, 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 okay. So, uh, yeah. Chrissy, you got a question for him? Um, you like your women submissive or dominant? I like them however they come. I like a challenge, so it's like... I adjust because adjusting affords you a wisdom that you can't pay for. And I say that because, like, um, we tend to, we don't realize we're going to deal with every type of woman in our lifetime. Yeah. And so when we run across a girl who bossed up and she's dominant, we tend to be intimidated by it as a man because we always want to take the lead. I tell women all the time, be the head sometimes and I'll be the neck. As long as you know you can't move without me, I'm straight. Mm. And vice versa. Sometimes I'm going to be the head and you got to be the neck. Exactly. But I can't move without you. Right. So, like, I'm not tripping. Be dominant because it's like we um we trick ourselves out of blessings um, being intimidated and being scared as men and trying to be all macho and the head of everything. Like, I done had people boss me up. And it's like I didn't know certain things. Like, I'm young. And it's like I done dated older women and they done boss me up and told me stuff. And it's like, now that I'm away from it, I'm like, damn, I'm glad she showed and told me that. Mm -hmm. And I teach somebody else and they're like, oh, you so wise. But I'm like, if I was... You know what I'm saying? Big-headed and didn't want to learn or wasn't willing to, like, have somebody who's going to show me this shit, I wouldn't know it. So I'm just, like, awful. Like, be what you want to be because at the end of the day, I'm going to learn from it. Mm. So mm -hmm. if you submissive, I'm like, oh, okay. Some of your traits I would like to see in another woman. If you dominant, I'm like, oh, okay, some of your traits I would like to see in another woman. Mm -hmm. And you know how you try to make, like, your perfect nigga for you? It's like, yeah. you probably talking to, like, two, three niggas. He's like, if this nigga had a job like him or if he acted like him, wow. I would have the perfect nigga. Yeah. So it's like, you it's know, that's bad. the way I look at it. Be what you want to be, and I'm going to adjust accordingly. If it's too much for me, I'll let you know. But if it's not, I'm like, let's grow, baby. Okay. I like that. I'm happy I... I not mad at that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Boydney. Yes. Man, you, you, you got something you want to say to Kim Ali? Mm -hmm. I want to say um, that was an amazing answer to that question. I love the outlook that you have on life. I appreciate life. that. I really do. I'm handsome. That's how I do it. Mm -hmm. Real P. I like that. I love a player. So um, I want to know, what's the most spontaneous thing you've ever did for a woman? Hmm. Fucked on the hood of my car. <laughs> oh, <that's> <laughs> I mean... Is that really spontaneous? Did two or did four? You did four. Because yeah. I, I wasn't really going with the two. All I'm right. pretty sure Shit. I could think of a lot of things. All right. Shit. Probably should have been the easiest question, but this motherfucker seemed hard as hell. I'm because like, <laughs> I don't know. I've gone through this thing um, where... I've been vulnerable. Okay. Been vulnerable. Yeah, it's normally yeah. like a wall up, you know what I'm saying? And you don't want to like give too much too soon, but sometimes you get comfortable. You meet a motherfucker and they pressing all the right buttons, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And so you just kind of, like, fall into the groove of shit. You know, and it ain't that you intending to. Right. Then you had to catch yourself to myself, do I really like this motherfucker? Like, <laughs> you know, and you, they might, you might have met him and be like, ah, oh, I ain't studying him. And yeah. when they get on the phone and get the conversation, you like, you calling your homegirls, your homeboys, like, yeah, I love this motherfucker. Mm. Like, yeah, just being vulnerable and just being Aww. open <laughs> right off the rip. I appreciate that, man. You always know what to say. <laughs> 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 Mm. D, D, man. Um, 
Uh, finesse stories, man. We uh got this little segment called finesse stories. Um, um, Jesus um, Christ. Yes. Yeah. Do you ever remember a time? You know, I came that you've been uh finessed, or you finessed someone else? Oh, plenty, 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 plenty. Would you yeah. share with us? Yeah, I was uh, I was getting finessed a lot when I first moved out here. <laughs> I ain't know how this shit. How yeah. first off, how old were you when you moved to Atlanta? I was what twenty two. Oh, wow. Yeah. Got you. So you can't, and what, what year was this? 2016. 2016, yeah, yeah. you came in finessing time. This is the finesse capital. Yeah. This is the, fin yeah. They're going to do it to you out here. It, 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 it <laughs> used to be like this. Yeah. It, it used to be, it, back before I moved from to New York, and that was in like 09, you know, Atlanta was a, a pretty, um, a one city and whatnot, and then, it you know, still is. I ain't gonna take nothing from it. No, no, it, it still is. But mm -hmm. you, you have to learn the lay of the land and everything, and you can move sure. around pretty good and stuff because you, you, you have to just get used to the the yeah. implants that I hear. Yeah. You know, and uh, you know, everybody coming from different cities with their own little, little uh, the scams. This is the, we, we in the time of the scammer. Yeah. yeah. This is the scammer age. Yeah. yeah. I would say from 2010 to to now is the uh the the, the age of the scammer. Yeah, man. That, tell us about it, man. When did you get finesse? What happened? Um, uh, I just remember like being out here and like taking females on dates and shit and never hearing back from them. You was the fool nigga. The fool the nigga. The fool nigga. Not the fool I nigga. Everybody plays the fool sometimes. Yes. There's no exception. O -O -L. But I ain't know. Just being from Mississippi, and we like genuinely good people. We That's like, right, yeah. If yeah. we got intentions, they are always good. Oh. Like, and I'm like, I had my little ways about me. But if I'm gonna like offer to take you out or do something, um, it's gonna be genuine. You know what I'm talking about? So yeah, yeah. Took one girl out, and I literally haven't fucking heard from her since. <laughs> Cause you're the fool. To this nigga. day. It, it wasn't that I was a fool, nigga. We had just met. This the thing was like, this was our first time going somewhere like. We never, like, done anything. It wasn't like I was a fool nigga. Like, she was getting something from me previously. It was, like, no, the first time. No, F-O-O-D. I get what you're saying. Oh, okay. It was like, if you got a nigga that's going... A nigga get you food one time, he's not the food nigga. Right. You feel okay. me? Like, oh, if you... Okay. Oh. This was our first time. Right. But I was like, we were just mm. talking on the phone and communicating, and I was like... I guess she just didn't like me, but I'm like, shame on her. I'm like... <laughs> Where did y'all eat that? Where y'all eat that? Here we go. No mas. Cantina? Yeah, I was working around that's, the corner. That's not bad. It's not a bad restaurant. Yeah, I ain't had no bread like Tom I'm just like, wanted to go out and conversate with her. It was on some like, and I could probably see why though, because I was like, at the time, I ain't had the money. Like, I, Atlanta took me fast when I got out this hall. I ain't gonna stunt. Like, <laughs> I moved out here, I saved all my money to move out here, and I got out here, I was trying to live like these niggas was. I didn't know everybody was scamming and shamming. Mm -hmm. Atlanta did a lot for me, it ruined so much shit for me. Like, Man, but now I'd be like, I had to tell my partner now when they be trying to move, I'm like, don't come out here trying to keep up with nobody that don't got no job. You're going right. to see a lot of people who got money mm -hmm. and don't got no place of employment. You just let them be. Mm -hmm. Them they own community of people. Let them folk do what the fuck they doing. Go to work. Yep. Be who you're going to be for yourself. Thank you. Thrive and survive, my brother. Like, but yeah, she ain't talking to me no more after that. Shame on her. Could have had me, baby. Could have had me. Could have had me. You're lost. Yep, could have got got. But uh, I done did a lot of finessing, too. Tell us a yeah. finesse story. Share what you do. I done lied it and tried it. So, <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, but when you know how to execute, you can flex the cute, and that's all I never did. When you did it, you can flex the pretty. Uh, this boy. He cooking, yeah, bro. He cooking. Yeah, extra pretty. When you, <laughs> when you that sedated, you can flex the pretty. The nah, but, um, I mean, I done, I done lied. I done lied to get some before. I done finagled my way into some. You know, I was, this one time, this girl was just like, oh, if I, um, if we have sex, I'm not going to ever hear from you again. And you know what? I didn't lie to her, but I was like, you know what? If I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to talk to you anyway. I was like, now, I ain't going to tell you that we won't talk again, but I was like, Shit, in my head, I'm like, if you give me none, we definitely not. If you don't give me none, we definitely not talking. But I'm like, mm -hmm. if you do give me some, it's a possibility I may talk to you. I ain't saying we're going to talk every day. And I did mean it, but <laughs> when I got home, I was like, <laughs> got it. <laughs> but, yeah, I just kind of said what I had to say. And we always do that shit. Like, It's one of those things because I knew she wanted it bad. So I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? I've like a fucking car salesman. I can put you on a brand new 2016 Toyota Camry. <laughs> like, whatever you need, baby. Just, 
<laughs> shit, hell right. yeah. But I, I dressed it up, and <laughs> she went for it, and hey, I appreciate it though. Word, man. Yo, yo, uh, first off, man, yo, uh, T Race, man, give it up for him one more time just for being a real nigga, man. Yeah, you know, I'll try. I appreciate you just being vulnerable on the show yeah, and able to, able to, like, you know, just really open up to us, man. Well, we didn't know. This is the it. first time meeting us. Yeah, we didn't know done it. Y'all didn't lie. Oh, oh, no, oh, I yeah. had one. Hey, no, no, I'm going to tell you about another little shit. Look, this one chick finessed the shit out of me. But what happened is I ended up finessing her on the back end. Okay, okay. She lied. Like I was supposed to, like I'm trying to, I'm trying to slide in, and she was like, no, 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 my cycle on, and da da da. We end up drinking, you know what I'm saying? And turn out her cycle wasn't on, and she had just ended up having sex like the day before, or like some other time, like earlier that morning or something, like the oh, day cool. before. And I ended up sliding in there, and I'm to my, I got in that motherfucking got the knocking shit loose. I ain't gonna stunt. I was in there. I just got the. I got the moving. I got the moving furniture around. I was trying to. Why are you running? Yeah, but. Why are you running? She finessed me, and I was like, I ain't gonna make her do nothing she don't want to do. I don't believe in like. You know no, what I'm saying? of course not. When I'm it gets to a point where for like I'm trying to beg you, I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna state my business. Like I'm gonna let you know what it is and what I want, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna make sure of what you want. Yeah. But when it gets to a point where I gotta come on, man, come on, like just no, me. no. I'm not gonna convince you to fuck with me. Keep it back. Yes. No. Keep it. <laughs> it's, that's yours. Yeah. Yeah, give it uh, to someone else. I'm like, beat it, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> My own boy King made it up. Beat it. But, uh, yeah, and I ended up getting what I need to get out of it. And she was honest about it. She was like, yeah, I didn't want to do it because I was going to feel like this or that. And I was like, oh, no, nah, baby, you know, it's all good. And it wasn't. But... <laughs> I appreciated her for being honest afterwards. Sure like, you could have just said you didn't want to. Like, you didn't have to lie like your cycle was on. I can dig. Denied. Damn. <laughs> but it was all good, though. I never understood why women still lie and say they on their cycle. Just say you don't want... I mean, I did that back in high school. Oh, you know but so saying? they may be still in that same mentality. You got to let people that, go. That's it right there. Mm -hmm. That's it right there. I just right be there. like, no, I'm good. Did nobody just, understand it care. when you was doing it? I'm like, why would you lie? And it's just like, at the time, you just like, because... But see, Chris, no. you straight up though. You you straight, I'm straight up. Everybody up now. Like, I'm everybody ain't like that. You don't do nothing you don't want to do. Facts. I don't. Everybody's not comfortable being themselves That's because true. she might that, that 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 lady or that guy might be afraid they might lose something. That's true. And whatnot. And uh, you know, it's just it's all about just where you are in life. You know, mm -hmm. you know, like like I said, I'm not once again co convincing someone. To kick it with you right. or to, to like you, you know, right. and everything. You, you, you got you gotta be cool with motherfuckers walking out. Yeah. Cause yo, it's a whole world of motherfuckers out here, man. To get out here and meet, mm -hmm. ski, beat. It's, it's a beat. lot to it. It's a lot yeah. to it though. It's a lot that go into all of that shit, man. Yeah, one hundred percent. And you. don't waste your time. No. Don't look any further. No. Then but you know what you I tell people all the time, and while they said this in a song, you meet your intentions before you meet the person. That's right. Just straight up, when you walk into a room, male or female, mm -hmm. you literally say to yourself, he is handsome. I would fuck him. Right. That's just straight no. up. Now, you don't always act on it. You don't always say nothing. When I walk into a room, I say, damn, she got a fat ass. I fuck shit out of her. But am I going to tell you that? No, I'm just going, hey, how you doing? And mind my fucking business. But I done already made my mind up whether I want to fuck you or not. So if a female got you in a room alone, or y'all, she might not want to fuck you then, but she knows she wants to fuck you. Like, That's right. It's she, just, she gonna save You're not there if she ain't made up in her mind, like, I wanna fuck him at some point. He just gotta not do nothing to fuck this up. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So, like, every time you walk into a room, it's literally the same thing. When somebody walk in, you're like, damn, they look good. Like, and you start thinking with your private part. Mm. You, Jack, your dick you say, ever, yeah, she do look good, bro. Jack, you ever talk to yourself out of pussy? Ooh. Oh, all the time. Okay, so 100%. Yeah, so you keep your mouth closed all the time. I tell my partner that yeah, all the time. Yeah. But sometimes, but this is what I look at it like too. I, 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 I even though it, I, I talk myself out of, I've talked myself out of pussy, and what it was for the best. <laughs> I like, I like, I like being myself and getting it being myself. Sometimes, mm, if I you understand that, you, you feel where I'm going with this. I understand that. Because you, you, if you get, if you up here saying everything somebody want to hear and whatnot, and you know not being yourself and everything, are you really yeah. enjoying yourself? Uh, sometimes you drunk and you not being yourself, like you just a you didn't tap into a whole nother little shit. But I done been drunk before and talked myself out some pussy, and I'm like, ah. 
And I'm like, I, I really want that pussy. What, they say you are, you are, you say what you really want to say when you are the influence. I feel like it's half and half. Yeah, me too. I feel like yeah. it's half and half. Because you can turn into a whole Like, person. that's why they tell you, like, your judgment is impaired. Impaired. Oh, you're, not, you're not thinking straight. That's true. That's but true. you do. Like, I believe when you get mad, you say what's on your mind. 100%, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Like, when motherfucker tell me something they mad, I believe them. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to kill you. Huh? I was just playing now. Let's yeah. talk about this. <laughs> but, yeah, but, but I'm, I'm, I'm old now, though. Like, I'm, like I said, I'm 41, so I'm not afraid of missing out. Maybe. I'm cool on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you you just don't know or, or when, or you, like, later on when you see somebody and whatnot, like, damn, I'm so, glad I didn't fuck with them. Yeah, especially if you see them with someone else and they going through it and they're, they're like, damn, that could have been me right there. No, I say... I should have got that pussy while she was still in a good predicament. <laughs> I'm like, this nigga crazy. I'm sad that she's not. He know what to say. I'm like, yeah, he do. I'm sad that she isn't as fine as she was. But if I had to hit that pussy when she was in her prime, whoo, <laughs> you feel me? She oh. was different. It, it boy, you some man. Boy, you hell. You y'all done said that before. Like, damn, that nigga ain't shit now. But back in the day, yeah, I would have yeah, loved yeah. that nigga to mm -hmm. break my back. What well, a position. Well, I can dig it. I can dig it. <laughs> Yo, T, um, we'll just direct the question to you, man. Oh, well, listen, we're talking about finessing right now. Rob. F finesse to it. Okay. Um, everything, every woman that has ever finessed me, double back, and I got my get back. Mm. I got my link back. Never had an issue where, I mean... This nigga lying. No. Let me tell you the truth. Tell you the truth, Jack. Everything that has ever finessed me came back to me in some way, form, or fashion. Boy, it you slicker than worm sperm. It always, <laughs> <laughs> nah, it always it. worked out to my advantage. Like, I remained a nice guy throughout. Mm. Yeah, I was upset, and I done been emotional. I worked through my emotions. Everybody gonna work through their emotions. That's right. Sure. Real talk. So, as I got better, I mean, the more you get finessed, the more you know how to handle the shit. Yeah, I That's right. Me. <laughs> I done been in clothes for decades, and yeah. That's right. Hard luck stories, heard them all. And I don't know, I guess it's that Southern gentleman in me. I'ma always keep it player, like whatever. And some of them still finesse and then come right back in the club the very next day, the very next week, the very next month. Cause mm. for some reason I'm always taken care of. Reason I got finesse, I was gullible. The reason they came back from the time that they came to me to the time they left, they were down on their luck. Mm. I was lucky enough to be able to bless them whatever they finessed me out of. And then they came back and either apologized Needed some more, or I got my leak back. Mm -hmm. Hey, give it up for yourself. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Give it up for yourself, bro. Yeah. You know, let's slide it on over. Yeah. Uh, Bortney, let's go. I have never been finessed, for Man, one. You a legend. Like, I, I've never been you finessed. You a legend in these streets, bro. <laughs> I, could, I could smell that Congratulations. from a mile away. Congratulations. Yeah. Finesse, I could smell from a mile away. I'm from Atlanta, so. Okay. Every day I'm finessing. Every day. I, I live off finessing, probably. Gotta watch you. <laughs> so I turn my back on you. Hey, uh, why you gotta around. watch me? Why? Because. Um, let's see. I finessed my way into having two boyfriends, right? And they knew about each other, right? And I finessed one of them to buy a Rolex for the other one. Oh, damn. Damn. That's, damn. That's, that's, damn. That's about the damn. best finesse story I got for y'all. Damn. Oh, Shit. Damn. <laughs> and you might as well not even go to me because she didn't. I don't, she I don't know how you did it. They said it couldn't be done, but it could be done. <laughs> no. She got a golden ticket. Is he Rex? No. Why, why does don't match the nigga Rex? Why does don't match You had two mentally ill niggas. That's yeah. what you yeah. 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 Oh, no, hey. no, no, no. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I was saying, now I done let you get away with something now. You okay. You get away with something. Damn. Uh, that, that, that's a, woo. That was heavy. Yeah. Okay, yo, Ray Diamond, what's I, up? Act, she actively finessing when one for that. But no, it's not like finessing like, like that, but it's just like, they know they getting finessed because you know I'm not about to go home with you. But exactly. But just for me to sell you that fantasy then, okay. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? For sure. But they know I'm not going home with them. Or yeah, nah. they know they're not doing these. But it's just the point that they think. Like, let them feel how they want to feel. Yeah. For sure. I can, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I, yeah, yeah, dig, dig. I'm going to put it back down, but I'm, <laughs> I'm digging it. <laughs> I can dig it. I can dig it. Definitely digging it. Chrissy, for next story. I used to dance in my past, in my 
younger days. So, of course, I finesse guys, like how she said it, you know. Um, I bartend at a strip club now. So, yes, there's been plenty of customers that try to finesse me out of paying their tab. But guess what Chrissy do? Chrissy gets her little ass around that bar and go run up them steps right behind their ass. Hold on, they, they, they actually will walk out? Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's a like thing? they forgot. Yeah, they run off, yeah. But I'm right there, I'm on top of you. I'm on. Damn. I may be sitting here chatting with this guy, finessing him or whatever, but guess what, my eyes are still on who got the tabs with me. Okay. Yeah. Hold that thought, baby. I gotta go run somewhere real quick. So some somebody will leave a card and actually leave they'll out. They'll leave out with that card and everything. But I will be. I'll be honest. Uh, they'll be. They'll be gone. I'll ring they shit up. Yeah. Oh. You still. You still. I'm still gonna ring your shit still up. Put your tip on there. So wait a minute. That's a finesse. Look, she thought that yo, that yo, yeah, your finesse right there. That's stupid. I played the fifth. <laughs> yes, yeah, the yeah, finesse. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Stop. Yeah. Stop right there. Stop I don't right do there. That. I don't Woo. do that. But I do pay, pay their tab, and then I'll just, you know, put their their information up at, in the office at the end of the night. Okay. Because they'll eventually call, or sometimes they'll just get a whole new one. There's been plenty of guys that leave Amaxes, and. But we just, I make too much money to even try to deal with that type of shit, first of all. I just gone and just close their tab with their card and I just put it up with the manager. Okay. I, I make too much money at my job to even try to do no dumb shit. You, you from here? I can dig it. Huh? You from here? Miami. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how you know she a thug. Yeah. So... Dig, dig. I don't know nothing about Miami. Dig. So, yo, man, yo, I can't even, like, what you want out the game, bro? What's the, what's the ultimate goal for you? Hmm. Huh. I'm going to be the greatest all-around um, rapper, pop star, celebrity. I um, came to a realization that, like, some people do some things maybe better than I do, but they don't do other things, and I do everything. That's mm -hmm. the only thing. So, like, you got, I say the only two people that I could say actively do everything, uh, I ain't going to say actively, but, so, like, Drake. Drake can rap. Drake can sing. Um, I'm not being biased when I say this. Drake ain't a better rapper than me. He's just popular. He's just more famous. Got more hits than me. You know, I give him to that. He's not a better singer. That nigga Tory Lanez can't sing, but he's not a better rapper than me. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Um, and I'm not trying to dress this shit up. Like, no, I know you're not. I, I, I follow you. I, I know you mean every mm -hmm. goddamn mm -hmm. thing you saying right now. Yeah. I'm not being biased. I'm telling you, like, the only two rappers that I've heard, I'm going to say three. The only three rappers that I've heard that I've, like, no, I'm going to give it to five. The only five rappers that I've ever heard that I've said, like, damn, these niggas are, like, so cold. As a rapper, I would have a problem. Eminem, Wayne, Kendrick, uh, Franchise, and Deontay Hitchcock. Wow. Literally it. Literally it. And, like, so everybody can't, like, rap and sing. Like, Drake sings, but he kind of, like, taught himself how to sing. And it was just kind of like, he don't sing, sing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Or Tory Lanez, like, he sings really good, but he not going to out-rap me. And these are the two most famous or popular niggas who can do, like, both at, at like, a, mm. you know what I'm saying, yeah. expert level. But, yeah, it just ain't nothing that I ain't got. And I'm pretty, like, Woo! to no fault of my own. God Woo! made me this handsome. And it's the thing, like, you didn't have no design on, I mean, you didn't have no um, control over how good you was going to look. No. It was... By God's way, by his God's design, way. that you came out looking the way you're looking, right? Mm-hmm. So, Beautiful way. And if a motherfucker want to argue with it, you tell him. I was made in God's image. Now what? Oh, my God! Mm. Right there. That is God true. is the epitome of perfect. If I was made in his image, what am I? Perfect. Perfect. You feel me? Like, Perfecto. But I'm, I am the best. I ain't going to say I'm going to be the best. I am the best. It just takes time for the world to see it. That's all it is. The word, word, man. Yo, I can't, man. Yeah. Let's let's talk about the name real quick. Is, yeah. is that your your real name right there? Akeem is my name. Okay. Akeem Thomas. Um, you adopted Ali. I adopted Ali. Well, because um, I like shit talking. I try to stay as humble as I can, but I like shit talking. Like some of the greatest shit talkers of our time, uh, Ric Flair, uh, the, the Rock, um, 
Muhammad Ali. That's right. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. And like, man, I was at home one day and I had a fucking epiphany and I was watching Ali and I'm like, this nigga talks so much shit. He did lose some fights, but granted, like that nigga was able to back that shit up. That's right. And I looked up what the name meant. Like my name, Akeem means wise. And so uh, Ali means exalted or noble one, champion. And I was like, I like that. And I'm going to make that my name. Uh, and I'm going to say this on record. It's somebody else who got my name. And I, it might be their real name. But, like, stop fucking making music under my name. Shit. And That's you, a thing? No, I'm, I'm just going to say it. And this ain't me trying to be cocky or nothing. Like, Shots fired! Shots fired! You're not a better rapper than me. Like, niggas really want to smoke. Like, I ain't, like, a confrontational type person. Like, it's going to be, like, what it's going to be. It's black and white. If I can avoid it, I will. But once it's there, it's just like, we in it now. But stop making music under my name. Like, it's trash. And I'm sorry, but I don't like it. Mm-hmm. And people don't like it for you. So me personally, stop. I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. Hey, so, but you know, but I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this, man. You know and I know mm-hmm. at the same time, Whoever that is, and I hadn't even heard them yet, mm-hmm. uh, but they can't compete with you, and nobody even cares about them. I'm gonna call nigga, man. Factor. God gave me all of this for like a reason. Like, I'm allowed to talk like this because God designed it that way. He gave us free will. Like, one hundred percent. I'm designed to feel how I feel about it. Yo, but yo, okay, yo, I came. You, you, you in a class all by yourself, bro. And you know, yeah. um, I, you, you going all the way to the top. And I'm I'm really proud of you. And I appreciate I'm, that, once again, man. I'm so happy to have you on the show today. Yeah, I appreciate that. This was a real treat I for me, man. Because yeah. I've been following you, man, ever since I seen you on um 85 Vibe. Yeah, 85, and I was like, yeah. God damn. Yeah. Damn. I've been knowing who you was. Like, I be watching like I'm heavy like in uh, URL. And I be watching you on stage at the like smack battles and shit. You oh, be, oh. <laughs> I be like, he on, he on stage fucking clowning, bro. He be like, did you hear what he said? And I be like, this nigga up there. You sound like clown. Joe Budden. You Joe, like, did you hear what he said? Oh yeah, I heard him. <laughs> hey, bro, bro, let me tell you something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you talking about some like 2010, 11 shit? I remember Joe Budden came up to me. He was like. Bro, why you always be gassing at the battles, nigga? You do be doing it. I yeah, it's like, so you say you seen me do that shit. You be somebody. like instigating, like it's like I wanna. <laughs> oh, you already said you ought to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> I, what is it? I wouldn't take that level of disrespect. <laughs> I mean, but some of this shit do be hard, but you be up there like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I be like, but hey. Oh, hell no. Oh, exactly. shit. Exactly. Damn, man. Yeah. Hey, yo, this, I'm just getting to New York then and whatnot. And yeah. I had never been to a battle in my life. And when I started going to smack shit, I was like, damn. Yeah. This shit doper than I thought it would. That's why I'm really heavy in the bars now, man. And I can really appreciate you. Yeah, I study battle rap. I yeah. Study, like, Every aspect of it. Would you do it? I do it on a small level. Like, I have this, um, so I have personas. Mm. Like, Kimi Casanova is a persona. That's dope. Um, and, and Akeem the Ali is my actual, just like regular rap name. You know what I'm saying? I got this other character called Hoodie Keem. But what I try to explain to people, like, I want to be like the Martin of rap. Like, when you watch the show Martin, he has Jerome, he has Shanae, Roscoe, yeah. Dragonfly Jones, and he has Martin, like himself. Mm-hmm. All of these people are funny. But none of them are possible without Martin. That's right. Like, King That's Casanova right. is not possible without Akeem Ali or um, Hoodie Keem is impossible. So it's just like seeing somebody bring that from like film and TV and like, you know what I'm saying, Hollywood into like the music industry. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be really, really nice. It's like I can rap on a regular level. Like I got battle rap bars and like, I'm not a pimp, but I can rap about being a fucking pimp. Mm-hmm. So yeah. That you can. That's what's up, bro. Yeah, man. man, yo, so, you know, like, I know you got some more famous shit to do. And I, like I said before, I want to bring you back. Yeah. And, you know. Uh, yeah, you got to come back. Yeah, I, I, I definitely want to bring you back when yeah. I bring Lima Beans up here. For sure. And, uh, just yeah, I think I know that's going to be an explosive episode. I got one more thing. I want to know what's on these cards. I this want you to know what's on the cards. Just, I mean, I want you to know what's on. I, mean, I, 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 know I want you to know what's on the cards, too. Yeah. Ladies, can y'all ask me something off the cards? I want to know what's on them. Me too. Are you yeah. single? Am I single? I'm a Mac with the accolades to prove it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. You a Mac with accolades to prove it? No, nah, I'm spoken but for. Though. I'm spoken for. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I wasn't ready. I didn't know that. Okay. What's, what's your uh, best three qualities? My best three qualities? Woo! My personality. 
My smile. Um, and my conversation. My conversation. Conversation. Yeah, the best mouthpiece out the southeast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Who's next? What are your some some of your non-negotiable requirements when dating somebody? I like this. I don't have any. Yeah, because you kind of um, already answered that. Pretty much. Any. It's like, be who you're going to be. I'll just accord. Yeah. Okay. Now, everybody ain't you like that. You saw the question. Before. Go ahead. Give, give another card. Because you how, saw that how, one. Okay. So, how do you think the bills should be split in a household? I like this. Um, If I'm the primary breadwinner, I want to pay all of it. But I'm going to say, to be fair, I pay the rent and, like, the big bills. You pay the utilities. Okay. I, I don't I like This that. is just me. I do want to cater to my woman. Like, I want her to have everything that she wants. Like, if I got an excess of money, like, don't spend your money. But it's like, I don't ever want you to get to a place where you can place it. Because, like, what if one day we not a thing? Right. You know? And, like, you're used to somebody paying for everything. Mm -hmm. Then you get with another dude, and it's just like, he not that type of person. Like, it just teaches you to always be some level of independent. Yep. You know what I'm have saying? Your so own it's like, steel. to you, it's like, oh, I shouldn't have to pay for nothing. But, mm -hmm. baby, you still want to be able to do. Still for yourself be, at be. any level. Like, don't yep. ever get too dependent on nobody. So, oh. Even though I can pay the utilities. So would and that be a non-negotiable? Like, it's not a non-negotiable. So, um, okay. It's not. Because she, it's like the way I'm going to present it, she going to, it ain't going to be a problem. She gonna it's, like, she said, huh? it's not that she going to do what I say, but it's just like, did you agree with what I said when I said it? Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's all it is. Like, as long as you agree. And I'm not putting it in your face, it's like, you know what I'm saying? You got to do this. I'm asking, like, well, I will pay all this. And think about it. Utilities, you only come down to, like, $200 a month. Yeah, did you, who didn't say they didn't want to pay the utilities? I don't like that. It's just $200. I pay, I, pay I, pay for, I pay for the rent. I, I pay like for you should do it accordingly. The car notes, so you know what I'm saying? What okay. ain't going to pay okay. shit? I'm not, but I will. You <laughs> 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 don't need to pay the rent sometimes. Okay. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay. I prefer not to, though. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> okay. Hey, life be life. What calms you down when you're upset? Music. Mm. Music. I got a mo music has a mood or a song for every mood that you can ever be in. Okay. Like, everybody That's knows. That. When you're mad, they have mad music to fuel that. Yeah. When you're sad, they have depressed music to help yeah. you fall deep into a depression. And when you're happy, they have music that you know lifts you up, make you right. happy. So. Yeah. Music does it all. I don't think we could <clears> exist without music, though. Have y'all ever thought about that? No, I, I, I totally agree. I second that emotion. Yeah. I love music. Word, word, word. Tia. Yeah, so if you were given $1 million right now, how would you spend it? Um, this is me. This is me. Because I don't know how to be rich, I know how to spend money. Mm -hmm. Any of y'all have never had a million dollars? Raise your hand. You know. At one time? At one time and boom. At one time. At one time. Not one time, but off the line. That's a right. million dollars. We didn't smoke A million dollars? I like these girls. For one, <laughs> I for, like these girls. For one, a million dollars over the next five years, I wanted a lot of to me in five um, increments. I want $200,000 at a time because I don't know how to be rich. And I will invest. That's I like it like you know that. Very yeah. responsible. I'm I going, do that Because too. I know myself, I'm going to invest. Like, $200,000 for one year is a lot of fucking money to live off. Mm. Let's just be for real about it. You can... Um, oh, no, the these motherfuckers can spend some money in here. Yeah, everybody can, but you can get the car you want, you can get the house you want, and you can pay the note on it. Like, you know, like, next year... If I run out of money this year, next year I'm going to have the money to pay for this car. Mm. Like, Versus getting that whole million dollars, and, sp like, I'm going to buy... When you got a million dollars... You spend according to what your ceiling is. Okay. Your ceiling mm -hmm. is a million. You start buying shit like you got a million dollars. Mm -hmm. When it's two hundred thousand, you buy shit like you got two hundred thousand dollars. When you got ten dollars, you go to um, McDonald's and say, "Let me just get the burger, a cup of water. I will hold off on the fries today." Right. You feel me? Yes. So, two hundred thousand me over the course of five years. I'm gonna invest. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna give me a house. Yeah, I'd rather do it like that than have it in like yeah, a whole so, bulk. Like, and somebody told me one time, shout out to Guap Dad, he told me, like, I don't know how to be rich, so I, I figure out ways to keep making more money. Right. That's what and I like. all the time, we don't wanna learn how to make more money, we just lazy and we just want the fucking money, just to be honest about it. Like, we work because we have to and not because we want to. Mm -hmm. So it's just like mm -hmm. shit. And I know me, I wanna go to the studio, I wanna make music, that's my happy place. And yeah, just give me $200,000 at a time and let me. Accordingly, and then my folks can't be like, "Oh, you got a million dollars? Like, fuck with me." I'm like, "I don't have a million. Like, 
I got two hundred thousand and half that shit going to taxes already. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all would have took the whole million until I said that shit, huh? <laughs> okay. I mean, I would have took the million. I would have put it up. I would have put most of it. Got it. And not pay no bills. <laughs> and not pay no bills. I <laughs> should pay some bills. She I don't even want to pay the goddamn bills. Yeah, yeah, she ain't shit. Well, I'm used to paying bills. <laughs> Feels right now. Single, single, I would not. Okay, okay. I feel it. That's funny. Okay. Now who got another one? Let me hear. Um, which is most important to you: money, power, or respect? Hmm. Power. What's power? People don't realize, like, with power, you can get you want and you can get the respect like people don't always have to like you but they will respect you when you have power mm. just if you think about this we do a lot of us or some of us some of us didn't like donald trump but he had power and you just had to respect it like you don't go around like just disobeying laws you have to respect that shit like when wow. he said something when he implements something you just respect it you feel what i'm saying and when people got power they're in a position to get more money you know it's like by force or about however you're gonna do it. Mm-hmm. Like, you can't have the money, but motherfuckers don't. It's like literally rich niggas who are cornballs. Mm-hmm. You're corny as hell. Like, nobody respects you. You just got money. You just got money. I feel like if you got respect, you can make it further also. I can see that. I that see is that. true. That's true. Oh, okay, yeah. Red. That is true. But you got people who have respect, but don't have power. Exactly. Like, we just respect you, but. You're we not like a person you. in power. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Are, y- are y'all preaching now? When you got power, people just people don't always like it, but they respect it. Yeah, for sure. They mm-hmm. always. I, that's just me. Like it's been. I don't know. It's just certain parts where. Okay, so like, uh, I guess I use like Nino Brown on New Jack City. Y'all seen New Jack City, right? Mm-hmm. Like, or Scarface. Like Scarface had power. Yeah. With that power, he gained respect and he got all the money he wanted. Now the motherfuckers didn't like it. No, they, they didn't. knocked him off. But yeah. he got everything he wanted because he had like he started accumulating power and he started doing that to like force and shit like that on New Jack City. Nino Brown had power. And it was people that he was able to do certain shit to, like he was saying certain shit, sit your five dollars, I got power, and you don't like me telling you this, but you're gonna respect it. You know what I'm saying? You don't like it. But that power gets you killed most of the time. You got their respect, I feel like. Yeah. You can make it further. Like, you got people want to actually do for you because they respect. They support you more when you got your respect. respect. It's like abusing the power. Some people abuse their power, though. It doesn't seem like it when we talk. I feel like... I feel like you had respect before you got the power. Like, you had to have the respect to get the the power. Right. Mm Because nobody... How could you have power if nobody respected you? I got you. I got you. Somebody guess, had to respect mm, you. I guess money. We can all agree that money is the least important. Yeah, because you money know what? Scarface, he that. didn't have the power yet. Yes. Remember, he didn't the, have the, the power had to first. Respect him. He had to start small before he got big. He had to get the respect, especially about, with the people he was surrounding himself by. Mm-hmm. You know, okay, then that's I'm, when he gained the power. Maybe I was uh, wrong but in that aspect. But he didn't have power you, first. Okay. I, I, maybe I'm wrong in that aspect, but I do believe once you have the power, respect comes a lot easier. I personally think you're right. We don't, are you told what? Yeah, police got right. power. I, I, police I, I, got power. I, I, we don't I, I, like a lot of shit police do, uh-huh. but we not just willy-nilly going yeah. out here. There like, are people in position that mm-hmm. have power. That's true. You. I okay. walk in plenty of clubs with mm-hmm. different managers. That's mm-hmm. true. Throughout Atlanta, yeah. Georgia, east side, west side, downtown. Yeah, that's Couldn't true. stand them motherfuckers, but they had the power. They had and the power. Had and you had the respect for me to get my check. I had to respect what they said. That's right. That's true. Yeah, that's that's don't make them just, they, don't, they didn't have more no money than me. It yeah, really ain't a right or wrong. Not, it's not. But they had more power than me. Yeah, because right. people don't care about being corny as long as they got their money. <laughs> right. Okay. I can't like, deal with no This is a good discussion, that. y'all, but I got to wrap it up yeah, okay. and whatnot, man. My man, I. I can't even believe he got uh, some things to do and everything. Yo, I told you the cards work, man. Yeah. You know, shout out to my homegirl, the situation ship, Tanya, CEO. Appreciate that, man. These are yeah. some great cards. <laughs> and whatnot. Uh, yo, man, okay, man, tell us what you got coming up next and everything and what we should look out for, bro. Uh, and tell them how to follow you, too. I'm going to continue Fun being page. as handsome as I can until I elevate to my <laughs> next, level of, next level of sexiness. Okay. <laughs> 
Um, and when I'm done with that, man, I'm just gonna keep giving honor to God. You know, it's all possible through Him. So, yeah. And if you want to feel like I feel, you know, ask God to help you with that. Show sure up. Uh, yeah, but I just dropped my project, Rose of the Red, but I'm colorblind. Go cop that. I got more coming this year. You can find me at A-K-E-E-M underscore underscore Ali. You follow me or swallow me, the choice is yours. Whoa. I'm not going to make you do what you don't want to, but I'm just Whoa. giving you the option. Hold on, hold so, on. yeah. Holy shit. A-K-E-E-M. Um, and then underscore underscore Ali. Oh my God. You know, Jack, you know how Instagram yeah. show you a whole bunch follow of shit him that you or don't see. really want to see? Yeah. This is the one time I can bless with say Instagram showed me something and I was happy to see it. I was scrolling, just scrolling, and they threw something in there in the algorithm and it happened to be a king. Man, I appreciate it. Wow. Before I saw him on the 85 South, and then I just followed him and been there ever since. Sorry, man, Come, hey, that. bro, he got one of them pages. It's infectious, yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate that, man. And we supporting everything you do, man, yeah. from here on out, dog. If we wasn't already and everything, man, like I said before, I appreciate you coming to the show. This That's ain't the real. first, and a damn show ain't gonna be the last time. Man, that. shout out to 85 South. Thank shout you, out to you. Channel 85. Shout out to JackThriller.com. Shout out to DJ T Rex. Shout out to goddamn D DJ uh, 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 Where's the DJ. Shout out to my homegirl. Shout out to Chrissy. Shout out to Tia. Shout out to Bortney. Man, yeah. shout out to Red Diamond, man. <laughs> and he still said it last, didn't he? <laughs> I did it again. I did it again. You did it again. Oh, shut up. You know what? She actually was the first person that you could have named right here. She could have went there. Yeah, we gonna get her. Who are you? Hey, you say you gonna say the best one? I'm gonna say it first. Yeah. Everybody want a ruby, man. We no, love, we love red, red diamonds. Red diamonds are the rarest diamonds. Oh, oh my god. Give me oh, right. Oh, 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 hey, I don't mind being correct. Give me Holy cow. Holy cow. Give me right. Hey, man, we're going to see you next time, man. This Tell is Jack Lillard City. It, man. Hey, let's take some pictures real Thank quick. You. Come on, man. Yo, yeah. Rex, take us out, baby.